good morning students i have given you one practical assignment that is for database management system so check this assignment these are the assignments practical assignment i have given these two assignments first and second ddl commands table creation and ddl command alter and drop table creation dot ta and drop table syntax so go directly on the exercise 1 and 2 here this is your first assignment ddl data using data definition language we have to create the tables these are the tables you have to create under this player underscore id role number underscore id uh, project underscore id donor underscore id there is a underline this underline means these fields are a primary key so we you have to write while creation of this table this field as a primary key then second table second uh, exercise is there for all these tables there is no they have not mentioned any primary key but this first number you can show as a primary key third exercise employee college doctor and classroom so here first field you can show as a primary key then second exercise alter table and drop table in this you have to create table they will assume that you have already created this table then in this table we have to add new column that is student address as a data type text and one more column phone as a data type integer so these two columns we have to add into this table by using alter table query here other queries are related to alter and drop table add new column age of data type integer into this driver table alter table by modifying driver name to party alter table driver drop the column age and remove the driver table from the database so these are the alter table and drop table commands we have to fire on this driver then same way you have to complete this table also game table so this is your exercise second now if you see in the index you have more exercises you have to complete all these exercise first finish this two after that we have to apply the commands on this table only or check in the exercise which table they have given on the basis of that table we have to fire the insert update delete command same relational database we have to create without constraint without writing any constraint you can create the table here create the table with constraint for example primary key is the constraint not null is the constraint using that constraint you have to create the table then rdb with constraint means more than one table will be considered here implementation of select command this is seventh exercise implementation of select command sql set operation set operation we have to perform here join operation we have to perform here and one case study is given so check other exercises so exercise number 3 dml commands is on page number 34 here they have given one table employee on that table we have to perform all these queries insert at least five record into the table means we have to insert five rows into this table then update the salary of employee to 50000 whose employee number is 1 so as per the query we have to insert delete or update the data of this employee table so this is exercise 3 after completion of 1 and 2 you can complete this exercise exercise 4 rdb without constraint here 
they have given two table employee and department so in this they have not given any constant we have they have not shown any constant that, that is it is primary key it is foreign key they have not shown that that's why it is not a constraint then insert at least five re record here we have to insert the data as well as display the data same way perform other table now table creation with constraint here exercise 5 they have shown the constraint here inside this table m name should not be null this is the constraint other constraint m name should be in upper case you have to write m name in upper case only then m type that is machine type can be these are the given types if any type user enter out of this type then we have to show the constraint we have to show the error that you cannot enter that constraint only this constraint you can enter only these values you can enter then m price should be greater than zero this is third constraint so on the basis of this constraint you have to create the table so inside the rd uh, rdb without constraint here you have to create this primary key because we have to show one to many relationship one to many relationship means you have to use this e number inside this department but we are not applying any other constraint that is not null constraint that particular column value should be like this only this constraint we have not applied that we have to show into this exercise number five now next exercise number six rdb with constraint here we are creating table with constraint in the exercise three we have not used that exercise four we have not used the constraint that is client name should not be null but here we are applying both primary key as well as constraints so complete this assignment then demonstration of select command we have to show the data using the select command how we can use the select command they have given various ways here they have given two tables employee and department they shown that employee and department related with the many to one many to one means this uh, if employee more than one employee can be work more than one employee can working in the same department that's why it is a many to one many employee can work in same department so in this table uh, this table id we have to show into this employee id employee table for example department number here we have to add that number also select star from employee here you will show all the data from the employee table then uh, if you want to see only employee number name from the employee table then instead of writing star you will write e number and e name select e number comma e name from employee that's it same way we have to apply other queries complete the assignment whole assignment then sql set operation here we have to perform set operation union intersection that query we have to apply here union all examples are given after that you have to solve the queries last uh, exercise number nine that is join join queries we have to use here we have to join more than one table and show the relation show the output relation these are the theory regarding that and here you will see the case study last exercise is case study read the case study properly then you have to apply the queries on that case study then you will create the tables and apply the case study queries on that table read the question design the relational database for the above so 
here you have to read this case study then you have to decide what tables we have to create for this database what what are the relation between these tables you will decide all the things and after that you have to fire this query on that tables so this is your database management system practical assignment you have to complete all these 10 exercises and upload on google classroom write your role uh, create your folder on google drive write your role number after that write dbms that is database management system and inside that you can upload your program using the serial number so after completion of this you will write the file name as a one then write the file name two for this three for this one four for, four for this same way you have to complete all the 10 assignments for any query you can contact me you can send message to me through whatsapp also that i am getting the i'm i have doubt in this query how to write this query i will help in that so first try to complete the previous assignments you will get errors you will get doubts after this four after fourth exercise but till this exercise you will easily complete the things so in this lab book also they have given theory part of the above exercises how to create table they have given everything how to insert data how to write constraint everything is given inside this lab book so while completing this lab book you can check the content given in this lab book for example here you can see data definition language so they they have given definition always as well as they have given various syntaxes we can use under this ddl statement here this is the syntax and this is the table creation here this is your table and this, uh, this is syntax how we we can create the table so create table table here they have not given primary key they have not mentioned primary key but remember in a, a, each and every table you have to mention the primary key here after writing this here after three give the space write primary key so complete this assignment and upload each and every exercise on google drive check the lab book it is uploaded on google classroom for any query you can contact me thank you all